Hi, and welcome to the Improved Garage YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be working a little bit more on the QNAP series. Um, one of the big reasons why I purchased a QNAP is its native support for Time Machine, which is Apple's backup technology that they use um, to backup their products, the MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini and you know whatever, thing, whatever devices you have that are running Mac OS. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set that up. Um, so we're going to log into our QNAP. And you can um, turn off these pop-ups. They're designed to be helpful. But you can make sure so those don't pop up every time. So um, QNAP uses apps or applications to um, add features. So the app that we want to get is this HBS3 hybrid backup sync. So we're going to install that. And when you click install, it's going to download it automatically. It's going to install it automatically. And um, it's fairly quick. It's going to take a couple of seconds. And we can see my RAID is still syncing in the background at 103 megabytes a second, so about a gigabit. This is almost done. And you see the speed of that just dropped down. That's because it's a background process, so this takes priority. Okay, so HPS has finished installing. We can open that up. Understand. Okay, next. So every time you open up a new app, it's going to kind of give you this overview of how it works. And, you know, HPS allows you to have multiple storage spaces. You can use a local NAS. You can use OneDrive. You can use Google Drive. You can use, um, it used to do S3, but it looks like they discontinued support of S3. Um, say no. Now, what I want to do is back up my um, Mac Mini. So that should be under services. And we have Time Machine as a service. So we want to set up local NAS accounts. Depending on which version of Mac OS you're running, 10.12 or later or 10.11 or earlier, um, you know, there's a couple different options here. So in this particular demo, I'm going to be using a shared account so we can enable the shared medium account. So the name of the backup is going to be TM Backup. The username is going to be Time Machine. And then we can set a password here for what we want to use to authenticate against this Time Machine share. And then we can say how much space we want to allow our backups to use on our QNAP. So we can say, you know, something like a thousand gigabytes, which is a little under a terabyte, and that'll mean that as it backs up your machine, once it fills that space up, it'll automatically get rid of the earlier backups to keep the most the most recent or newest ones. So okay. 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 So now we have our shared time machine account and we have our backup services started. So now I'm going to switch to the time machine settings on my Mac and show you how to add it as a location and to do your initial backup. All right, so now that you've set it up inside the QNAP, you're going to open up a finder window. At the top menu, you're going to go to go and then connect to server and this box is going to pop up. And you're going to put in smb colon slash slash the IP address of your QNAP and then slash tm backup. Choose connect. And it's going to ask you to authenticate. So for the username, you're going to put in time machine with a capital T and a capital M, and then the password that you just set.
Then we go to System Preferences, and we open the Time Machine Preferences. Choose Select Backup Disk, and a pop-up is going to come up. It looks like this. And you'll see all of the places where you could potentially do a Time Machine Backup. So I have a USB hard drive, I have an SD card, um, these are other shares that I've used in the past. So we're going to choose TM Backup, use disk, and it's going to ask you to authenticate again. And then this is going to come up. So after 110 seconds, it's going to take its initial backup. So speed that up. Connect the backup. I'll start preparing the backup, which means indexing all of the files and figuring out what actually needs to be copied, and then it'll start copying. And this will be a fairly automatic process. Um, you know, it just runs in the background, it does its thing, it backups multiple times a day, and um, it works fairly well in my experience. So that's it. That's how to set up Time Machine backups and um, get your Mac backing up to your QNAP. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.